What's going on? I'm going to give you guys a look at uh, the Ontario Raider Bowie knife that I just picked up. I actually kind of bought it for myself for Christmas. I've had it for a while. Uh, I got it shipped to the house from a place called Knife Hog for $53 shipped. This knife is made in America. And before I show you the knife, um, I'm going to show you the sheath and how I actually have it on my side here. And I've been wearing it, you know, on and off. You know, walking around and whatnot for uh, I don't know last the last few weeks, I guess. You know, so anyway, um, the sheath it's kind of a of an odd sheath. It, it's got a it's got a loop here, and it's like got a D ring. I actually wrapped some some cord around the D ring so the metal on the D ring wasn't hitting the metal on the on the guard on the knife. Plus, it was making kind of a clanking sound and a squeaking sound, so I kind of wrapped it. I'll probably do a nicer job and make it look real fancy. I just did it to see if it would work, and it is. Uh, this sheath, you would think it would be terrible, but it's really not, because when you're walking, you look at it moves with you. It kind of pivots at this, at this D-ring. I have it tucked in my pocket. All, it goes all the way down here. But there's a there's actually a D ring at the end of this sheet, and um, it comes with a string to wrap around your leg. I, I actually haven't actually done that, but it's pretty much going to have the same effect. It's going to move like this. So the sheet is kind of cool. It's got two snaps here. It's it's retained by two snaps. You don't have to necessarily use both. You could just use one. But to uh, to, to get at the knife is really not difficult. I, I have both snaps snapped. You, you just snap it and the knife the knife just pretty much comes right out. Uh, it's a pretty pretty cool knife. Made in America. It's 1095 steel, which is a real steel. There's nothing fake about this knife. This is a real Bowie knife. It is the correct, uh, it's the correct length of an actual Bowie knife just like Jim Bowie had. It's a correct thickness, like a quarter of an inch, you know, or about. It's heavy, it's got the right clip point. You know, a real Bowie knife is supposed to be heavy. It's got the clip point, so it'll, it'll basically, when Jim Bowie came up with this, it basically would pierce like a sword. Jim Bowie came up with this knife so he could protect himself. It is specifically for fighting. He had he had really no other intention for the knife. That is what it's for. And he did kill a few people with it through, throughout his lifetime. Basically the clip point was stabbed like a knife, like a, like a sword. You put this knife right through somebody. I mean, this is back in the late 1820s when he came up with this. But that that's, was the situation. It's heavy. It'll basically chop. You could chop, you could chop somebody's hand right off with this. I mean, no doubt about it. You literally could cut somebody's arm off with this thing. I mean, it is a nasty knife. It's made in America. Um, it is full tang, though the guard is metal. It's full tang. The tang comes all the way, has a hole in it. It comes all the way back here. It's wrapped in like a craton, I think they call this. It's like a really heavy, dense, plasticky rubber. It's okay. The shape of it is good. It's not just a round handle. It's got a flat top on it. So you can tell what position you're holding the knife in. If you have it like this, you, you can feel that it's flat. Whereas if a handle is just round, you could be holding it like this, like in the dark or something, and, and you, you can't tell a difference. You could tell the orientation of the knife. Um, all in all, this is a pretty cool knife. To, some of the grinds on the front are not that good. It could that could be better. I thought I'd make a 2016 knife review of this knife. Some people were saying that these are dull. That this knife came it's it's razor sharp. I mean, it just bites right into my nail like nothing. And not only is it sharp, it looks good. I'm real I'm real picky about that. I can't stand when the, when the grind is uneven on a knife. And the grind is nice and even. I mean, even the even the very point is uh, 
You know, it's the same on both sides. It's a real, a real knife. This is a real Bowie knife. You know, I've seen videos, people, you know, saying, oh, it's not good for, it's there in the woods, or, oh, it's not good for batoning and all this. It's like, that's not what this knife is for. This is, is a fighting knife. It's a self-defense knife. You know, and you could say, hey, it's 2016, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't carry big Bowie knives and have knife fights in the street like in the late, like in the 19, uh, in the 1820s. Well, that could be, but we do have a lot of crazy people out there. And I'm a concealed carry holder. You know, I carry, I carry a gun with me everywhere I go. But, hey, say you can't afford to get the concealed carry permit for whatever reason and you need a way to protect yourself. You know, a lot of people might think that this is excessive, but hey, say you're riding the, riding the L train. I live in Chicago at 3 in the morning. You know, some psychopath out there. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stories. The guy that, how about the guy that chewed off the guy's face? You had this on you? Hey, it could have saved, could have, could have saved you. Maybe you would have uh, gotten bit, you know, once and then you know, put an end, an end to it, or seeing some, I don't know what that guy must have looked like, the guy that chewed off that guy's face was naked, running at you, can you imagine, you had this on your side, you take it out, and uh, you have a way to protect yourself, I mean, it sounds crazy, but hey, in a world where people are crazy, um, you know, now granted, if you're going to use ever use something like this to defend yourself, it has to literally be a case where you're about to die. I mean, we had a Brown's Chicken Massacre here where they went to Brown's Chicken and lured everybody in the back and killed everybody. You know, maybe it would have been good to have something like this on your side. You know, gun is best, but you know, what this knife is not for is it's not a hunting knife. It's most certainly not for batoning wood. All those videos I do you know, appreciate the knife test, they're chopping in the wood, they'll let you know that if you did chop this into somebody's arm, that the tang is not going to break off. Um, but, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of sad that, that people don't know what a Bowie knife is and what it is for. It's, it's a fighting knife. So, you know, even if you just have it in the house or you're just carrying it for fun, exercising your knife rights is what I call it, carrying it for fun, you know, you should know the history of the blade. Ontario, made in USA. And uh, it's a good knife. Check it out. See you guys later.